Hey folks, this is Shane from Performance EV. Today we're finally going to actually bolt that Nissan Leaf motor into our Porsche 911. Hey folks, welcome to the channel. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, for those of you new to this channel, this is my project to put a Nissan Leaf motor into a Porsche 911. And today I'm hoping that we're going to hit a pretty major milestone on that in terms of actually bolting the Nissan Leaf motor into the Porsche. Um, I've been working towards this for the past couple of weeks. Uh, it's taken a fair bit longer than I initially anticipated, but that time has been spent effectively making sure that everything is 100% right um, in terms of how the motor is being held in place, where the clearances are and all that sort of thing. Now that we've got the motor on jack stands kind of hanging in position, um, the next step is basically to build brackets that will bolt that to the car um, and I guess combine two functions, one to hold the motor securely in place but also to do it in such a way that I can take the motor out if I need to. Um, as I've said at the start of the last video, there's still a ton of work left to do on this and that motor is probably going to have to go in and out a few times so I need to make that um, as easy as possible. You know, in a, in a lot of other cars, I think you probably could just get it in place and leave it there, but um, clearance is, is quite an issue in this car. The space that I'm working in is relatively tight and I want to make things as compact as possible. Um, so yeah, still got a lot to do there. But yeah, join us today as we try and hit a milestone of bolting the leaf motor into the Porsche. Back in under the car, let's see if we can get this one over the line. Now we've lined everything up and cut metal from most of the main um, components that we're going to need to fabricate, we can start to mock it up and move on from there. This is a current structure that we're going for. Um, basically, a couple of suspended brackets. So I'm building them as I go, um, and we'll just kind of move things around. We need to also get this perfectly level, which I think we have at the moment, thanks to just the weight of the um, uh, the brackets or the beginnings of the brackets being on both sides. So I'm going to get these more or less to the right height and then um, probably build them from the mount upwards.
So as I mentioned, we're going to build these from the mount up. So step one is to get the, the I guess, the lower part of the bracket uh, attached to the mount. Um, and then we'll work with the, the upright portion to try and get the best alignment possible. So making sure that all angles and um, everything is in the best place possible for it. And then we'll make sure the bar is in the right position. And then we'll kind of tack everything up here. So we'll just try and make sure that it's secure and I can take it down and finish finish tacking it up. Um, and in that way I'm hoping that we'll And then in that way I'm hoping that we'll be able to get something nice and secure in place um, that yeah meets all of our all of our needs. welded up and tidied up brackets ready to go back into the engine bay. So we've got all the mounting holes drilled in the uh, bar here um, and as you saw we've got the brackets welded up so now we're going to reinstall them use that to position the bar correctly and then start getting it more permanently fitted.
Okay, we've got the top rail propped in place. Uh, still needs to be welded onto the kind of shim slash mounting plates that I've made for it. But I'm going to try just see if we're heading in the right direction. So I'm going to lift up the engine slightly and then um, drop the axle stands and see if it stays supported or if it starts to fall down. So here we go. So that engine is now totally suspended on our custom engine mount. Now there was a little bit of fore and aft movement but that's to be expected because I haven't actually bolted the leaf motor mount to my bracket at the front of the engine. It's just resting on the, um, the cross piece that I put in place. But it hasn't fallen down which is a good thing. Okay, put some tack welds on the, um, the mounting plates for this upper bar. Uh, so I'm gonna unbolt all of these components, take it out, get it welded up properly, and then put it back um, in place, and then see about welding those plates to the actual body of the car. Right, we've gotten everything welded up now, so I'm going to try and fit this in place for the last time. All right, now the moment of th truth. We're gonna jack up the car a bit, remove the jack stands, and see if the engine stays where it's supposed to, or the motor. It's not an engine, it's a motor. There we have it. The motor is sitting where it's supposed to. No jack stands nothing but mounting points with the body of the car. So I think we can safely say the motor is finally in the car. That is solid. Oh, that was a lot of effort but I'm really happy with that. Obviously there's plenty to tidy up on it in terms of open tubes of steel and bits that need to be shortened um, and obviously it will all need to be painted uh, before we go and have anyone check out the the car for roadworthiness tests or anything like that so there it is we've done it we've installed a nissan leaf motor into a porsche 911 can go home happy now um, obviously this is is only a milestone it's not the completion of the project uh, but it is a pretty big point to hit. Um, it took me quite a while to get here, as those of you who've been watching the videos know, but um, I'm really happy with how it's turned out. It, it seems extremely solid, though you know, only driving it on the road will really give us an indication of just how strong it is. Um, obviously that's quite a, quite a time away. There's still plenty more to do to actually integrate the two systems that we've got here, the Porsche and the Leaf. Um, and obviously there are plenty more components that need to be installed in order for this to work. So I hope you'll join me for the rest of this journey. Um, 
if you've liked what you've seen and you're not already subscribed please consider subscribing um, as always comments are greatly appreciated but till then i'll see you next time and thanks for joining us